right this way, Kratos. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay then, your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any, anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Sparto Farm so we can try and rescue Tyr. To Tyr? Al alive? I mean, that's... What? It it's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You waited my son and disobeyed me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just... It's just... There's... It's just a lot of mud. And why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was... something we needed your help with. Oh! The Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Not so fast. How'd that get in here? What the hell is he anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the half been doing? He's too damn tall now. And he looks like that. I blame you. Now, come on then. Let's get him something that fits at least. He's just getting older, you dark trap. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey. I suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivant. Begin with this. Mmm. Busted up good. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? Materials to make one of these in the here and now. You bring me more resources, we'll see what we can do. Kid's gonna insist on getting taller. Best make a habit of swinging in for new duds. Behind, tossed him in the chest. What would you do without me? I'm gonna go look around, check out my room. Tell Sindri when you're ready. Thank you. This place is great, Sindri. You built it all yourself? You know it. See? I knew you wanted a snack. Hey, come see.
I guess this is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry. What'll it be? Hmm. Looks like Thimble Winner's been hard on our girl. Give her here. She's overdue for some proper. Keep her sharp and she'll keep you alive. Something special? I used it. I busted my shapely hunkers, forging every manner of breastplate and pauldron and all of creation. And yet now you stand before me, two step from butt ass naked. Maybe this go around using a little more carefully, huh? I will not. Get yourself killed, hear me? And how's life been treating everyone's favorite as your Vulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> Exquisite! Finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine.
That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of minds, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader? Derlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, Brock? Will he help us or not? No, oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned. He's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. I've always wanted to see your home realm. Svartalfheim sounds unique. Svartalfheim? <laughs> Stupid Aesir name. We look like dark elves to you. Oh, right. You call the realm something else. Neither Valir. Which is also the name of the capital city, and where you should look for Durlin. Damn city so full of Odin fuckers nowadays. It ain't hardly somewhere a self-respecting dwarf would show his face. Harsh, but accurate. Are those some kind of dragons? They're so far, I can't tell how big they are. We'll just need the Bifrost in the head, Brock. Do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh! Oh, Cindy, a stalking bastard! <laughs> Open! Open now! I was really hoping not to use the eyewear clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it! Good! Now... Release! That was pleasant! Oh, that's our cue! Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Russell the eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just... <gasps> there! That should do it! See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Kiss you takes a joke, you old goat! <laughs> Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first, come on, let me show you how it works. Okay. 
your key at the room for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. To get to any of those realms, you'll need a seed for them. outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! What's that, lad? Everything. Everything. Come on. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. <laughs> One less feathery spy. Careful, lad. We're already off to a lively stop. Atreus, you dropped your guard. That'd be a dwarven supply ferry. Said ferry appears to be missing. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. 
They are resources. If you never ask mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Did you see that over there? That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. continues on the other side of that geyser. Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Trade Mars Brasser, father of a few dwarves, you may be... ...well familiar with. Brock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open.
enough to climb? Aye. Good old dwarven craftsmanship. Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Come on. There's got to be a faster way to get down there. Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Mm.
end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Think you can reach the wheel from here? Oh wow. Nice job getting it to exactly where we need it. it's so warm maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet but maybe it's just different in Sparto farm aye lad thimble winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way weird that thimble winter can always make it winter. in midgard it does but as you can see the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature observe the geysers observe the aforementioned aroma effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. We can fit under that bridge.
Find anything good up there? <laughs> hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. That's more of an ingenuity for ya. Back to the boat. realm or anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. 
Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. Do you really think Odin would honor his end of the deal? That if we keep our distance, he'll leave us alone? No. That does not mean I intend to fight him. Perhaps we find a new home, where neither he nor Freya can trouble us. But... once we find Tyr, he can help us fight. Fight? That's, uh... not what I meant. Obviously, we have so much to learn from Tyr. Any way he can help us is good, right? Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Yes, I am staying alert. There are probably tons of those Grim around.
Good thing you learned the runes, brother. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good.
did it. Let's see what it drops. <laughs> Uh, father, up there. Right there. There's gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. <clears throat> Look, there's a chain we can pull up there. Cover that geyser from here. I think I get it. If you please the guy, the pressure will turn the wheel. Go! <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Can you see anything from that block? That's one of Cavassio's poems. Very highbrow. You should... Collect any others you find.
Vlad, if I may. What exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. From traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. be another one it's unlikely but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable if the geysers and smell here are worse because of thimble winter maybe the earthquakes are too aye you might be on to something lad Welcome to neither of the other brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh, they're uh, running away. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body, and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Well, that for us, though. They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. 